Uh, I'm Surya and I have been living out in Wayanai almost 25 years and when I came to the islands first time, when I came to Wayanai, I loved it so much, the mountain, the ocean and the trees and I was born in an island in Sri Lanka of, of India in a very small island and when I came to Wayanai I have noticed all these Kiawe trees and all the trees I know where I was born in that small island I see all the landscape everything is so familiar I made it, made it here in Wayanai is my home and I lived and I met a lot of lovely people and my brothers and sisters and also the tree which I'm sitting under now, the Bodhi tree, uh, it's planted about 23 years ago and uh, it's the tree the Buddha got enlightenment under this tree. Also, I want to say I'm very happy to sit with my mother here. She has a, uh, my mother has been a big support and a big help in my life and she guided on my path, the spiritual path, I can say. Um, because all these years she taught me a lot of things without talking. In, in our language, the mauna because he never spoke too much and never said anything. Without speaking, he taught so many things in my life that I follow today. And I'm so grateful to the Divine, the Creator, and also my mother and father. They're the visible gods, that's what we say it in our country, in our island. And they, she taught me so much and I'm very, very, thankful and grateful and also at this time it's a very lovely time of my life to acknowledge my father and mother and also my ancestors, grandparents, all the people I met on my travels and also when I was very young, I mean 18, 19, I left my island, I was in India for a long time without possessions. I walked across many parts of India. In the Himalayas, I met yogis and the sages in the caves. I lived there. Then from there, I went overland to Europe through Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Persia, and Turkey, and Bulgaria, Yugoslavia, all the way to Scandinavia. So I spent a lot of time in Europe and also I was very interested in temple art. So I had my learning in India and in Sri Lanka where I have done a lot of temple art. And when I went to Europe, I was very interested in the churches. So I spent a lot of time in Italy and France and wherever I went, I went to see the churches and the paintings, I met people. And also it was very nice time for me in Europe, the people welcomed me with great joy and I shared what I know very little like uh, they were interested in yoga I was an instructor wherever I went I cook food I help people I it was a very lovely time for me and now I made Hawaii is my home and I live here and um, and also Kahumana community you can see some of the work I have done first time when I came to Hawaii father Phil Harmon, he invited me to stay here and he helped me, helped me so much to do the artwork to stay here for some years. And still they are very close to me, I come here and still I am doing some work for them and the work is in progress. So you see this uh, type of artwork, it's called uh, repose or relief work. I learned it in India and Sri Lanka and when I was a little boy, I learned a little bit of temple art uh, and architecture. And then uh, I traveled to the west and then I learned a little bit more. And also when I do this artwork, any kind of artwork, I do it in a very traditional way. 
uh, I have a chanting and prayer before I start the work. While I'm doing it, it's a time of meditation and joy and also I chant. I give my heart and soul and life force and then when I finish my work, I have also chanting to finish the work and it is very sacred for me and uh, this way I'm very connected to the divine and to the creator and uh, and also I want to thank uh, Evelyn Giddings here in Honolulu when I came to the island she gave me all the tools and she taught me more things about artwork and still I use the same tools and I'm very grateful to, I'm very humble about it and I know very little which I share with the uh, people here in Hawaii and also to the community of Waianae, especially Waianae Coast Comprehensive Health Center. I'm very glad to work there. Here you can see Last week you saw that the work was on progress and now it's all completed and mounted on the wall here. And uh, this flower is a native uh, Hawaiian hibiscus flower. This is the entrance of the Hawaiian traditional healing center and it's the tea plant here and it is very sacred for Hawaiian people here and also I did this work with so much love and devotion and from my heart and also I want to say th very big thank you to brother Kamaki Kanehele and to my Hawaiian mother and Aggie they supported me and inspired me to do this work and here you see the other side of the gate of the traditional healing, um, Hawaiian traditional healing center. The first panel you can see is the taro. Here the shoot is coming out, is being born. And the second one, um, <coughs> you can see it is, it is growing. And the third one is un unfolding and also it is becoming bigger and the fourth one is it's dying and the new new shoot is coming and i meant this is the cycle of life and it's it's we are be we are all born and we go through our life and we do all these experiences and everything one day we pass away and again we come here that is what i meant and also you can see the down part is the earth and the up is the heaven and you can see the rainbow all around there is a mountain there and the rainbow and I had a great time doing this. Here you can see here the turtles and the corals and the fishes and uh, all of it here and it represents uh, the ocean life here in Hawaii and I love the ocean here here and also the mountains most of my work is represent the nature because I love the nature and we are part of nature here you can see the white color here it's a traditional native uh, uh, Hawaiian hibiscus flower and the leaves are here Here we are at the Wine Coast Comprehensive Health Center. You can see this building here, it is a gazebo and it is for uh, gatherings and also meetings. Uh, and also you see that all the panels, there is one, two, three, four panels are here. Every panel represents something about, represents Hawaii. One panel I can say there is a, there is some mountains and the sun and the volcano and the sharks and fishes and the monk seal is there and the other one represents also the mountain and also the rainbow waterfall and the dolphins and the other one is whales and the mountains and the turtles and the mountains and you can see it is in harmony with the nature here the color and also the one side is the ocean the other side is the mountain it is a very pleasant place to sit and have meetings and gatherings 
and I'm thankful to uh, Richard Bettany who inspired me, who asked me to do this and also all the employees uh, here, some of them, they worked all together here to create this building. And I'm at the Kahumana community and I did these two doors about many years before and it's the tree of life and it's still uh, whenever I come this way I look at it, it still it looks really good for me and I had a great time doing that. So here you can see a door, it's with miley leaves all around and the copper part you can see down, it's done by me. The rest is done by uh, Richard Neitzel, he lives in Wyanai. We worked together with a lot of different projects and he did the etching here and the carving and made the frame and made it so beautiful. I love this door. Yeah.